fight. Yeah. But but you, you obviously had to do it because your country asked you to do it. We're talking about Del Boy fighting on VE Day in 1945. He was born in 1928. He was 17 on VE Day and he was asked to fight for his country. He didn't want to fight for his country, but he did. And this is Del telling me all about it now. Thank you, Del. So, Del, what, what do you think? You, was, you, you, you didn't want to fight. You did not want to fight, did you? Well, no, when, I, when I saw Billy Delaray with a, with a flat nose, yeah. only flower ears, and he could hardly see, yeah. my mum said, it's going to be a gentleman, he's not going to look like that. So I said, I mustn't fight. Boxing makes you ugly. <laughs> if you lose, that is. We're not talking about the day, we're talking about Del fighting as a boxer. So I had to dodge all the other. Well, we moved to Rumford. Yeah. And I was. Does anybody want to drink? I was five, I think. So, that is my round. There was a shop opposite. Yeah. And it was either. Was that it? Was it was, was like wooden sheds. Yeah. And there was about five steps up. Yeah. My mum said, you sit there on the seat, because we just moved to Romford, and then we've been to the little, little hut. To, so I was sitting there, and mum was on the other side of the road. And the trap, she's waiting to come across, and there was the traffic going up and down, and all of a sudden there's a screech of brakes. The vicar's son, on his motorbike, the chain broke, and it locked the back wheel. <laughs> Crazy. Mum said, run. <laughs> and, and, I, and I I always did what my mum said, I run. And yeah. the, the motorbike demolished the seat I was sitting on. So if you didn't run, you would have been not here today. <laughs> I've had over 20 months <laughs> South MP. Yeah. Long and out, just about got back. The South End Pier, you were telling me about the South End Pier. Well, yeah. You get caught under the bar, bar, isn't it? What, what happens? Well, we couldn't afford to go out on the pier, so we walked underneath. Wow. Well. We took Eddie Dover, he had rickets and, he, and his legs was in irons. And my mum wasn't very tall, so I must, I must have been a four and a half, five. Yeah. And then we walked back and across the sea, well, the sea came back round and we were up to our neck. And wow. Well, I've made some videos today, Del, of you telling me about your life because I never met you before. And you're my family. So thank you. And I just want to say that love is forever. I'm going to ask Peter to give me a copy when he's free. Because Peter, if Peter that saw me on telly, that made this all come true. Thank you, Peter. And you're going to give me a copy of Dell's book, yeah? Yeah, but Helen types it up. She's getting on it. What's her name? So we can give her a little push me up. Helen. Helen, can you please make Dell's book happen quick so I can read it? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. He's working. And there you go. This is my interviews with Dell, who is my family, with Peter, his son, with David, with Will, I am. And it's my shout, Dad. It's my round, and uh, we love you all. Tina, we love you, shine on. I bet she thinks he's very loud. Well, I get it all from Del Boy, you know? <laughs> Del Boy gave me all this confidence, didn't you, Del? Okay. We shine on. Family is forever. We love you, Del. Mwah.